More COVID-19 mass vaccination clinics are underway in Portland and Vancouver at Veterans Affairs Medical Center. Elise Haas is live at the VA in Vancouver to walk us through how veterans are going to be able to get these shots. Elise. Yes, Ken and Jenny, it is very exciting that they have this max vaccination clinic here. And this morning we have Dr. Sahana Misra joining us. She's the chief of staff here to really let veterans know what they can do to get these shots. So, you know, it's Martin Luther King Day and, you know, it's a day of service. And you were telling me that a lot of people are coming in to still volunteer to give the veterans their vaccine. We are so excited here at the Portland VA. Today is Martin Luther King Day and so many of our staff and volunteers have been so thrilled to be able to participate in our day of service to vaccinate our veterans here in Portland and in Vancouver. Our clinics today are exclusively for veterans and at the end of the day, all told, we will have vaccinated an additional about a thousand veterans. So that is really, really exciting. And I just am so grateful for all of the staff and the volunteers who really were so excited about using today, not as a regular holiday, but to come in and provide a day of service for our veterans. So and that's what it's, it's all great. about. So you've been successful in vaccinating your you know, VA staff who's caring for veterans and the ones in the long-term care facilities as yeah. well. Um, so now that you've gotten them with both doses right, right, you're really focusing on high risk veterans. So what are the steps that they can take to come in? Because I know that it's they need to be eligible, right? Right, right. So what I'd encourage all veterans to do is to go to our website or our Facebook page for instructions. If you are a veteran but you've never received care at the Portland VA, there are instructions on how to get enrolled. Um, and if you are getting your care at the VA, there are also instructions on how to get scheduled. So these clinics are by appointment only. As you mentioned earlier, there are some logistical challenges with two shots and that's why uh, walk-ins are a little bit difficult to do. We need to make sure when people come in, they've got that second uh, uh, dose scheduled and ready to go. Um, the other thing I would mention for folks who are a little hesitant about the vaccine, we have vaccinated about 7,500 people all told. So the majority of that are healthcare providers. Everyone, for the most part, has received their second dose, and most people are tolerating it really, really quite well. And so we're really excited to encourage people to strongly consider the vaccine. The other thing our website has is links to more information about the vaccine, more information about uh, how people are tolerating it, rates of side effects. I think there's hyperlinks to the CDC website. Um, so a lot of good information there. And um, again, wanting to do our part to make sure all of our Oregonians and Southern Washingtonians get vaccinated. Reaction from veterans, what, is, what has it been like for oh, them? Oh gosh, <laughs> it's been so exciting. So our first group was our long-term care facility, which is located right here on Vancouver campus. And you know, we were kind of anticipating um, you know, maybe 50, 60 percent interest in getting the vaccine. And when we got our vaccine in the middle of December, boy, the excitement was huge. Our healthcare providers, I think about 80, 90 percent of folks wanted the vaccine and wow. our nursing home turnout was really great as well. And so I think we vaccinated several um, veterans pretty early on and people who initially weren't interested when they saw other people at the nursing home getting vaccinated, they were excited. And so um, it's, it's been a really good response so far. So, well, that is such great news to hear. I know that's going to be the key to obviously protecting people and getting people the safety that they need to get us through this pandemic. So we're going to continue to answer your burning questions coming up in the next half hour. We'll be talking to an epidemiologist about all of the vaccine things you want to know. For now, we're putting live in Vancouver, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Elise. And if you do have questions about vaccine eligibility and distribution sites, we have answers on coin.com. Well, it's a foggy morning out on some roads.